Hello guys, JNM here and again there is an update for FastCalf, my hard surface add-on. Now there is an automatic extrude for the primitives that you painted to the 3D view. I added two properties, the first one is the draw distance. I set this value now to 1.2 for example and the lower this value is, the closer the primitive will be to the origin. I switch now to the primitive mode by pressing shift ctrl and P, then I draw this shape and when I press the enter key it is created and now it is really close to the cube. Then you can extrude it in edit mode to use it for boolean operations, but I added a different option. You find it here in the fast calf panel under primitives and it is called extrude mesh. When you draw the shape now and then press enter to create it, the mesh is automatically extruded and it takes the draw distance into account. So you can directly go ahead and use the created objects for mirror, difference, union or whatever. I'm playing here a little bit around with it, so you get the idea. Ok, the next part is the python code, I want to show you how I extruded the mesh. It is done here in the create object method of the operator, after the bmesh is created I added a new method, which is called extrude mesh. It has two parameters, the current context and the created bmesh, and first I check if the extrude mesh option is enabled. It is implemented as a bool scene property, the same is true for the draw distance, I will see, perhaps I will turn this into a property of the operator itself, but let's move on to the extrude logic. First I get the view direction. I also implemented this in a separate method. This is a basic principle, don't let your functions, your methods be too long. And in this method I get the current view rotation, which is a quaternion, and you can multiply it with a vector, which is in my case the direction vector 0, 0, minus 1 and then I get the direction of the view that I normalize. Ok, now that I have my direction vector, I multiply it by 2 and the draw distance. So this is the distance from the mesh to the origin, multiplied by 2. For extruding the faces of the B mesh, I use the method extrude face region. From the result I get the vertices using this list comprehension, and then I translate these in the direction and with the length of my vector. So a bit complicated stuff, but once you know it, it's easy. Ok, if you have any questions or ideas, suggestions for improvement, let me know, add these to the comments. The add-on is for free, but if you like you can support me and be my patron. If you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on JNM. And Merry Christmas to all of you.